so you're trying to figure out the best way that you can go out and get maximum results for yourself well in this video i'm going to share three steps that will help you get exactly that coming up hey there it's billy with keep on cash flow once again back here to help you with tips and strategies on how you can go out and make more money how you can have more control over your free time and ultimately live with less stress so if it's your first time joining us here, why don't you do yourself a favor and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that at the end of the video that you stick around until the end because we want you to leave your comments and also check out any of the links that are listed below in the video. Uh, but I wanna get back to today. I want to specifically, I want us to talk about how you can get closer to gaining maximum results for yourself and specifically on that question of like what are the three things that you should really be taking into consideration when you are trying to get results and of course i want to bring a lot of this back to real estate right in real estate when you're wanting to go out and get results i talk about real estate as the vehicle but ultimately you're trying to get some results for yourself and typically what i found is you want to be able to uh, find a way to create new income uh, new income streams you want to be able to have more freedom right which we talked about before more freedom and control of your time and ultimately you want to be able to have more security and so if you're looking to go out and get these three things uh, what i've found that works really well and has helped to get move forward faster is really when you think about income and i just want to break these down one by one right and because ultimately i want you to get like what are the steps that you need to take to get the maximum results? And ultimately you wanna be able to focus on income, you wanna be able to focus on freedom, and you wanna be able to focus on security. And how do you get those things and do it in a way where you uh, feel comfortable? And first is, let's break down income. So if you're looking for a way to get maximum results around your income, one of the things that I've started realizing um, as I've become more and more aware of the way that money works is, um, understand how you're actually earning your income. Um, and I, I know I've talked about this in other videos, before that there are different ways that taxes will affect the way that you are uh, are you're earning your income we've talked about those three ways before you know you have earned income for the majority of people that are employees when you're going to work you are it's what's called earned income whatever country in the world you are it's basically you're trading time for dollars right you also have portfolio income based on the way that you are uh, investing in certain things a lot of them are related to capital gains which is kind of like when you buy low and sell high and then there's the the income that I love the most, which is usually the least taxed, which is around real estate. And, but the idea is you really got to start to change your mindset on the way that you're earning income. Focus on really on the ways that you can earn more income, but doing that in a way where it's taxed less, which means you get to ultimately bring home uh, more money. And that all starts with the mindset, right? So that's a, a really about moving away from and that's me. I mean, I've come from a very middle class mindset where we were taught to go out and earn money and save money and then ultimately, um, you know, put money in the in a 401k or in a stock market or something like that. Um, and you've got to work on changing your mindset if you want to start to elevate your income. Um, so that's one thing. The second thing is let's let's take a look at, at the uh, at, at freedom, right? So, and I know I talk a lot about having more control over your time, and ultimately it relates back to that as well. But when you want to start to have more control over your um, control of your freedom, you've got to start now looking for different um, mechanisms on how to deal with um, the, the actual time that you have available right and, and that a lot of comes down to being disciplined in terms of the way that you're actually using the time that's available uh, you know and i i use myself as an example someone who is i love spending time with my family and being able to to do that so that's a priority so i need to make sure that i'm blocking out time i enjoy my day job a lot and so i have to make sure that i'm focusing a, a large portion of my time there as well and i love being able to interact with you and i love investing in multifamily real estate back in the United States. So having the right mechanisms and blocking my time in a way that's going to allow me to ultimately get that result, which is more freedom, um, there is the discipline that has to be involved in blocking out time. Uh, I love using things like the Pomodoro technique, which allows me to be really focused, hyper-focused on certain things, and then I can move on to the next activity. Give my mind a break and then get back to the next thing. Uh, similar to what uh, I'm doing today and interacting with you. Um, and then lastly, whenever we're going for these goals, I talked about before income, and you're looking for freedom and ultimately looking for security. 
we're reminded all the time that security is a is a really fragile thing if you're in the corporate world i mean you may be part of a of a downsizing in your organization and you can do a great job and you can do the right things and you just maybe were the wrong number um, and ultimately you want to be able to uh, follow the path of someone that has already kind of gone down that trail so that you're not the pioneer uh, usually <laughs> some that said that pioneers are you can always notice who they are because they're the ones who um, have all the arrows in, in their back that kind of thing but um, one of the things if you're looking for security especially as it relates to investing real estate is look for someone who's already done what it is that you want to do number one but the thing that i've also learned is not just that they've done what you want to do but they've sustained that in the time that's really important so look for something like mentoring um, or or coaching that can help you to get have that level of security as you move uh, closer to your goals so and get the results that you ultimately want so just in recap Talk about getting the results around income, around freedom, and around security, and, and really being able to do that in three different ways. The three steps are focusing on your mindset, getting, making sure that you have your, your mindset in the right place, making sure that you have the right mechanisms to help you block time so that you can use it and have the freedom when you want, and then ultimately look for mentoring that can help you uh, to create the, the security that you're, that you're looking for. So I really hope that this has been helpful for you, and that these three steps are really clear. Um, I always, you all know I love hearing from you, so do me a favor, leave your comments below, let me know how this uh, video uh, worked for you. Uh, if there's something else that you'd like me to talk about, I'm always up for that, because then it means I don't have to think of anything, because I'm actually answering your questions uh, right away, which is great. And then for also, for those of you who are interested in understanding how can a guy like me live in Europe, I love it here, and invest in multifamily real estate back in the United States, um, I've written a free ebook for you. Uh, you can pick that up, all you need to do is go to keeponcashflow.com, forward slash roadmap. So everybody, this is Billy. I really appreciate your time. Looking forward to hearing your comments and building this community up more and more. Okay. Thanks. Have a great day. And as always, hasta la próxima.